everybody, it's Mr. Bureau from Saturn Tech. I just wanted to introduce to you the concept of a template and then teach you how to create uh, the official template for submitting drawings as part of CAD class at Staten Island Tech. So when you start AutoCAD, you don't realize it, but it uses what's known as a default template. And a template file is actually different from a DWG or a drawing file. The extension for a template is DWT. So if I hit the new button over here, or if I click new over here, it will actually ask me for a template. And by default, it uses this ACAD.DWT file. And what that does is it creates all the default settings for the ribbon and all the default settings for snaps and the grid, um, basically anything that you'd want to customize. Uh, and the most important part being that the papers are set with one viewport in the center and eight and a half by 11 or letter size paper. The official template that we want you to create is gonna look like this. This was a drawing that was opened with my template. The model space is the same, it's empty. However, the paper size has been set to eight and a half by 14 or legal size. There's been a, a border drawn around the side and a title block on the right hand side that features a whole bunch of personal information and information about the drawing that you're making as well as a space for making notes about your drawing. This is exactly what everyone's template is going to look like except you're going to create your own logo eventually. That is not part of this project. Also, what comes along with the template is you're going to preset layers. Layer zero comes for free, but you're going to preset the dimension layer, a title block layer, and a viewport layer. And as you can see in the properties, these layers are all normal except for their colors. So viewports is green, dimensions red, and the title block is the white black color, the one that switches. So that white black color can be found here. The red color that I chose is here and the green color that I chose is here. You use these bottom colors for organizational purposes. In addition to that, line types are preloaded, the center and center two lines and the hidden and hidden two lines. The continuous line is preloaded into every drawing regardless. In order to load a line type into a drawing, you do have to click this other button and then you have the dialog box where you can load line types in. You just click load and then you go ahead and select the ones that you want to pick and hit OK and they get loaded in. And that's it. So you'll have the center, center two, hidden and hidden two lines loaded, the dimensions, viewports, and title block layer set up. You don't have to worry about the def points layer. The def points layer is created automatically when you start doing dimensions. In order for you to create this template, you simply start a new drawing on the default template, and then you begin editing inside the layout area. So go to your default layout area, delete the existing viewport, and begin by changing the size of the paper in the page setup manager to legal. And that can be found right here. After you do that, you're going to be drawing on the paper and making sure that everything is set to these specifications. You'll be provided with this on a PDF file. So the paper size is going to be legal, eight and a half by 14. There's an outer border that begins at the coordinate one eighth, one eighth. And it has a width of 13 and a quarter by seven and three quarters. So in order to draw this particular thing, you're going to use a rectangle or lines or however else you want to do it. But make sure that this corner is the coordinate one eighth, one eighth. And that the length of this lower line is 13 and one quarter. And the height of this side line is seven and three quarters. 
You'll add layers and line types, as I mentioned. If you don't remember, adding a layer is simple. You just open up the layer properties and you hit the little icon over here that has uh, a sun on it to begin a new layer. Make sure you specify all of these things as far as like the, the colors and things like that. Um, when you're done drawing all of these materials and list everything exactly as it's listed here, you will place everything that you create on the title block layer. Nothing on the piece of paper that is meant to be the title block or part of the title block should be on layer zero. Layer zero is reserved for design work. And that's what it says over here. Layer zero will remain as your first design layer. Logo and info, later you'll insert your logo. Uh, you're gonna remove the word logo. You'll insert your design firm name. Your design firm name is just a fake name that you're gonna make up that represents your personal design firm. You have the ability to change it up until your logo design project, which will be in a couple of months. You will also insert your name and seat. Right now, you don't know your name and seat. Well, you don't know your seat. You actually know your name, of course, but you don't know your seat. So you'll hold off on that, but just put your period number in. For me, I always put period zero, computer zero. And of course, my name is there. My design firm name is the House of 10,000 Monkeys. And of course, that Island Technical High School is going to stay the same. And you just leave the word drawing name over here. You leave the scale. You leave the date is just a generic date. And these two items you can type in. They, pro for the most part, will not change. So getting back to here, we'll come to the side over here. And this is just an explanation of how to create all of this work over here. So the side border is going to be one and one half inch from the edge. All unmarked rows here have a quarter inch height. That's like this row here and this row here and this row here. This row here is a quarter inch. This one and this one are quarter inch. But the Staten Island Technical High School is one half and your design firm is three eighths. Um, text height is the height of one eighth. Please use the Arial font. The labels are all caps with a height of 3 over 64. No text should touch any borderline. So my labels here are caps and they have a height of 3 over 64 when you type. So just to refresh your memory, you should be using techniques such as the uh, coordinate drawing with relative coordinates. Um, in, in order to draw down here, like you might want to have an overlapping line, as you can see, which is done over here. So for instance, I'll go to my, my um, blank drawing, and let me just refresh that I want it to be these dimensions, 1 8, 13 and a quarter, and 7 3 quarters. So I begin drawing a line. I'll specify one eighth comma one eighth which you can type that way and then i want to go uh, a distance of 13 and one quarter so 13.25 comma zero and then seven and three quarters up so zero comma seven point seven five and then to the left, same thing, 13 and a quarter. So negative 13.25 comma zero, and then I'll close it. And then to start drawing over here, I'll take my line and I'll snap. And then I wanna go left one and one fourth. So I'm just gonna turn ortho on and type in 1.25 or 1.5, I'm sorry, it's one and a half. So 1.5. And then I'm going to start making my way up on the drawing. Like you could see, there's one, two, three, four rows that have a quarter inch height. So over here, I will snap back to that line and then hold my mouse upward with ortho on and type in 0.25. And then another 0.25 and then another 
etc. So I have three pieces here that are 0.25. And I can snap onto the endpoint and go straight across. Do another one, snap onto the endpoint, go straight across, etc. So that's how you build it up, and it works pretty fast. Again, you're one and a half inch from the side, and each of those unmarked ones are a quarter inch height. You want to do a couple of other things for sure. You're going to turn off the adaptive grid, set the grid space and grid snap to your liking. All that stuff is um, visible over here in the model space. So you want to turn off the adaptive grid, set this grid spacing and the snap spacing to what you want it to be. And any other settings that you might want. I like to activate all the object snaps, so make sure these are all on. That will save as well. And that's it. And when you're done, you save the file to your main folder as an AutoCAD template file, which is a DWT file. So you go to here, pick Save As, and then change this to AutoCAD Drawing Template, DWT. And then to use it, finally, you never open the DWT file. What you do is not hit this because this just uses the previous template, but you go to here to click new or you click new over here and it will bring you to the template folder in which you can choose what you want. Here's mine right here, the Bureau House of 10,000 Monkeys standard template. So I hit open and it creates a new drawing, not opening the DWT file, and it's using my template. As you can see, I have my layout preset. I have my layers preset. I have my line types preset. I have my snaps preset. And finally, I have my grid preset to the way I like it. That's all. So make your template file and submit it as this particular project. None of the things that you see on here should be shown on the inside. No dimensions and no instructions. Just the stuff that you see here to get your final project to look like mine, except you will not have a logo. But everything else should be the same.